Late Night Health continues. I'm Mark Allen. Join us at LateNightHealth.com, LateNightHealth.com. Uh, coming up in about uh, 30 minutes from now, maybe 40 minutes from now, we're going to be talking about, yo, the home sperm test that you can use your smartphone on. We'll find out everything about that. It's It just struck me as being funny. Anyway, coming up uh, shortly here on Late Night Health, we return to our conversation about relationships with uh, Dr. Uh, Sam uh, Alibrando, the author of The Three Dimensions of Emotions. You have an example of, of a woman who is in that blue state who, do you want some green beans? Sure. She hates green beans, but she's going to take them. It's, it's very similar to that, yes. Right. Uh, this one doesn't have to do with the holidays, but it's a great example of someone who can go to blue, uh, where uh, she would get a call every day uh, from her mother. Uh, her mother was one of those mothers that we all fear, uh, huh. uh, that's just very dependent and very immature. And she would keep uh, the, this woman, her daughter, on the phone for an hour, an hour and a half every day. And they didn't have a conversation. It was just an hour, an hour and a half of her complaining about how sick she is and all the neighbors, what they're doing, and why doesn't blah, blah, blah. And she would just sit on the phone while she had all these things she had to do as a mother, as a working woman, as a whatever else we had to do as, as adults. And, and she could never tell her mom that, that she has to go. Uh, she, that would be a red thing to do. That would be a power thing to say, you know what, I can give you 10 minutes today. You say it to yourself and you cut the, uh, um, cut the conversation off, but she could never do it. So she was kind of stuck there, uh, trapped by a, an immature uh, a mother, um, and that, that that you'll have versions of that during the holiday. Like you said, the, they don't like green beans, but they're going to eat it anyway because they don't know how to say no. Saying no is a red thing, and a lot of people. But isn't get, saying no in this case a healthy thing to do? Absolutely healthy. Yes. See, that's the thing. People often say, "Well, red's bad and blue is good." No, no, no. Uh, red can be bad or good, and 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 setting boundaries for yourself is a really good thing to do. It's a healthy thing to do. If somebody says to you, I need, I, I'm going to talk to you, and it goes on and on and on for an hour a day. Yeah. And you say to them, look, today I only have 10 minutes for you or five minutes. First of all, it's a growth. To me, that would be a, a big growth spurt, yep. if you will. Yep. And at the same time, very healthy. Yep. But what about the person at the other end, the mom who's, to me, overbearing. Yeah. I mean, is that, how does that affect her? Well, uh, the, the I, I would imagine, uh, in most cases, that person will be hurt. They'll be offended, even. Uh, and, 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 and the next person they call, maybe the other sister or the other daughter or the neighbor, and they're going to complain about my rude daughter who just hung up on me. Right? But you know what? That's, that's what you, if you're going to take care of yourself, you have to, do those things that are, might be offensive to somebody else. On an airplane, they instruct you if the oxygen goes away, that an oxygen mask is going to come down. Yep. And to put it on yourself first, first. before you take care of your kids or an elderly person you might be with. Yep. Great do example. We, do we have to take care of ourselves first, always? Yes, uh, unless you're a narcissist, and then that's all you ever do. Right, but uh, but if you're not an in, in, in insanely and innate selfishly selfish person, uh, for people who tend to be more passive, uh, uh, that would be a rule of thumb for them to take care, put the put the mask on first, uh, because what happens is when you don't, it, when you become that passive, you become resentful, and the resentment comes out in a passive kind of way, as opposed to when you can set a boundary for yourself. Then you feel like you have some power, right? That's that's when you're you're in that dimension, and then you can feel better about yourself, and then you can be more available to people in a much healthier way. At like your like the analogy says, you put the mask on, you got your own oxygen. Now you can take care of other people, but in that order. In the holidays, not going to a family event is often hurtful to the family. But at the same time, it's 
it's delightful to the person who doesn't show up or yeah. the people who don't show up yeah. who always have a problem at these family right. holiday events. And, and there's two reasons for that. One, one would be you have to split the deal with maybe uh, with your spouse, and you're going to go to his or her family one year, and, and that may be offensive to somebody. Or the one that we talked about earlier, which is a much more hard, difficult one, which is it truly is toxic. Now, uh, we have to know when is it really toxic or not. And, and when, for example, you may just want to celebrate the holidays just with your, your own nuclear family and you don't want to do it, and you make your choices, and it might offend people. And that's, that's the thing that people who have a hard time being more red is they don't like to offend people. But we, we can't get through life without offending people. And you don't need to do it to be mean. You need to do it to maybe get them to grow a little bit and have a little sanity for yourself? Sure, exactly. Yep. And, and that, in, in the reverse order, sanity for yourself, put, uh. the, put the mask on, and then, then, it, then it'll be good for them if, if, uh, if, if, if it fits. Uh, well, if you need a roadmap to get through the holidays, uh, this looks like a great way of starting. The three dimensions of emotions, finding the balance of power, heart, and mindfulness in all of your relationships. Dr. Sam Albriando. Uh, Sam, thanks for joining us. Sure. We appreciate it. Happy holidays. Thank you so much. And if people want to go to my site, there's a free test they can take. Oh, great. Uh, powerheartmindfulness.com or join us at latenighthealth.com. More coming up.